Every age is different. In my 50s, I was jogging 5K every second day and uh, 10K at least once a week and uh, entering 10K runs on occasion. Living in Ottawa through two winters, I ice skated on the Reno Canal three times a week for at least an hour. And even in my 60s, I played tennis three or four times a week and always for the whole afternoon, often as much as four hours. Today in my 70s, I don't run at all and I never skate. And uh, no doubt there are entire nations of guys named Olaf or Rudy or Stefan still shushing down 45 degree hills and well into their 90s, but I'm not one of them. Parachuting, hang gliding, spelunking, deep sea diving, just not on my radar. Alas, they all look like great fun, but not for me and not now. So lest you think I'm curled up in my rocking chair on the front porch, sipping mint juleps, juleps and swatting flies, no. I'm still walking every day, at least 30 minutes, and a good day, an hour, or even two. Simple formula, the more I walk, the longer I walk, the better I sleep. Uh, I'm still playing tennis, more likely once, twice a week, and I try not to stay on the court for two, much longer than two hours, and if I don't create an outright, outright injury, at least I'm subject to aches and pains and make recovery a lot longer than it used to be. I play doubles more than uh, singles, which I used to love, and doubles I can get away with covering only half the court. Now, this may sound like a lot of uh, whining and running lists of deterioration, but there are also surprising new joys found in these upper reaches of longevity. Just give me a minute while I try to remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you find that you're calmer and unhurried. For example, I never run to cross a light, ever. If I have to wait through uh, the traffic change, then that's fine. It gives me the opportunity to check out all the other people in the buildings and and uh, look at people uh, texting, uh, cell talking, and eating while driving. I worry less. You may not have a Bill Gates bank balance, but so what? You muddle through to this point, you're probably going to survive. You feel the great freedom to be entirely who you are. No explanations needed, excuses, or tap dances. It's great. Pickle. People speak of mindfulness. It consists entirely of knowing who and where you are at this moment.